Almost everyone who knows about chest binders knows that they make your chest look flat. But do you really know how a chest binder works? We recently conducted a survey, and one of the questions was, after wearing a chest binder, does your chest just appear flatter, or is it actually compressed? What was your choice? The majority of people believe that a chest binder actually reduces the size of the chest, while a small percentage believe that it only makes the chest appear flat. Let's find out if you are among the few who know the truth. To understand this issue, we first need to understand the composition of the chest. The chest is mainly composed of glandular tissue, connective or fibrous tissue, and fatty tissue. Based on this paper's speculation, it is generally believed that fat constitutes around 70% of the total breast volume, while glandular tissue accounts for about 30% of the total volume. Therefore, to investigate whether the pressure provided by a chest binder can actually reduce the size of the chest, we need to consider whether the two main components of the chest fat and water and decrease in volume with increasing pressure. First, animal fat is introduced. The animal fat is placed into a compression container. When pressure is applied downwards, the animal fat in the container does not compress in volume. Next is water. The water is also placed in a compression container. When pressure is applied downwards, the water in the container is also unable to be compressed in volume. Therefore, it can be seen that fat and water are difficult to compress, at least within the pressure range that the human body can tolerate. This raises another question. Why does the chest appear flatter when wearing a chest binder? For this, we also conducted an experiment. We asked a model to be measured and simulated using software without wearing any underwear and wearing a chest binder. Let's observe the results of the two measurements, and the overall area of the left and right parts was consistent. However, due to the pressure, the shape of the chest changed, visually making the chest appear flatter. Based on these two sets of experiments, we come to the conclusion that a chest binder changes the shape of the chest, making it appear flat rather than actually compressing the volume of the chest. If you have any other myths or questions about chest binders that you would like us to verify, please send us your rumors or emails.